Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see what your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, get the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, rare hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, me to have my back because I have yours. All right, all right, all right. We're going to do a thing called love. This is the love oracle, the foreign love oracle, the love, uh, the destined love oracle. I forget the name of this. And this is the spiritual journey, the love, the honest love tarot, and then the intuit tarot. We're going to pull to see what it is and what you got going on so far. Look at the cards that come over. Um, this came over my last read. Opposites attract and watchful and half truth. So you're watching for something that you believe is half of the truth. And bottom of the deck is reconciliation. So somebody uh, might be considering reconciliation, but... Again, the opposites attract the watchful truth. You see that there was half truths in the situation. Excuse me, I said watchful truth. You see that there was a half a uh, half truth in situations that you are now looking in regards to when it comes to yeah something that you dreamed about and also needing guidance. And so certain things when it comes to change, you have to be the one. Or that other person needs to be the one to change. I don't think it necessarily has to do about you. You were very watchful that you guys were opposite. That, you know, something that you saw potential in. You saw a dream. Uh, reliable. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and also gossip. Yeah. So it's dark energy. Jealous energy. Um, uh, somebody camouflaging half truths, And that's the reason why that came out. But it was something that you saw potential in that, that could be... Um, you know, uh, a, a need to revisit again, the universe, confusion, distance, and alienation. Yeah, you alienated yourself because this person, place, thing, or situation needed to change. The spiritual energy in regards to this and the journey that you had to go on in order for you to see things in a different light, you had to, um, yeah, dreams again comes out, make my major life decisions, life changes. Um, and it says change the con change is constant and an opportunity for expansion regardless of its shape. Consider change a, a change a gift for your soul's evolution and dreams come out twice when it says bottom of the deck is teacher. Yeah, no man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. Dreams. If you encounter, excuse me, if you are encouraged to keep a dream journal to decipher messages, spirit is conveying to you. So. You had to understand and empower yourself based upon the dreams, what you figure or what you feel um, that um, you were able to deal with in the past. You are trying to decipher or uh, look into when it came to um, something about half truth. So this is the Honest Tarot um, deck that we are pulling from. And with this being said, see, I didn't even get to shuffle them. Nothing is set in stone, bottom of the deck. I was so wrong. Somebody, you taught somebody a lesson. They're realizing they're wrong and not, not, not right now is what's at the bottom of the deck. So this person has to do the work and it's not all in regards to you. Yeah. A routine for service. What goes around comes around. Emotions are facts. Uh, excuse me. Emo emotions are not facts. Uh, Self-sabotage, lust, I need to heal myself and think before you act and nothing is set in stone. So these are the energies when it came to dealing with a person who, you know, you guys didn't see eye to eye. And now you're at a point to where you are teaching them a lesson by you moving and move and going and looking at things from a different uh, perspective, knowing that life changes. And it's always the what goes around comes around. No, you're not wishing anything uh, in regards to. Uh, karma type energy on a person but at some point somebody has to learn their lesson if you call it karma um yeah that's what it is but no man is your enemy no man is your friend every man is your teacher so think before you act is what i'm going to clarify because again your routine uh um excuse me uh yeah ada yeah gaining momentum so yeah progress alignment communication things uh take off yeah two of wands charting your course um, and also page of swords, a thirst for knowledge, you're learning. And that's where teacher is the gossip that and how to deal with the toxic energy. And um, you're learning and teaching at the same time. Again, no man is your enemy, no man is your friend, every man is your teacher. You know what you thought about uh, seeing and expecting good energy from a person, the will of fortune comes out unsure. And that means that, you know, Again, the moon, the waxing moon, it says making progress or gaining wisdom. The will of fortune says um, 
beyond your control and decisive what is it decisive moments yeah decisive moment so being unsure about the things that are you know somebody has to learn from remember your emotions are not the facts what has to happen is they need to heal themselves and you have to do that so you have to be the cat the catalyst in order for this person to do that for them to realize that they were so wrong and that you were teaching them a lesson about the dark energy that and them needing guidance and something that you can't teach them how to be a part of queen of cups yeah empathy your empathetic nature is a way for you to be emotionally connected but also um understanding your feelings your deep feelings in the empathetic nature and trusting in your intuition and uh, being loving and um you know again going with the flow that's where it says the water here emotions you know and understanding that you see potential in a certain situation but that person whoever the opposites attract has to understand and see what it is knight of coins it was a lack of direction for their part so they had to learn and you had to learn too that not right now this this whole love you know the news thing the um um reconciliation those types of things are things that you're not in control of they have to be able to understand and need to heal themselves and stop self-sabotaging everything that they come in contact with and that again that has nothing to do with you that has to do with these um you know uh, what is it called the people and places and situations that pacify that and you probably were one of those the breakup oracle is where i'm gonna pull from um again the good news could come and not saying that reconciliation isn't possible i'm saying that you need to understand um that you have to put yourself first and choose yourself yeah because you're incomparable and that and make this person really think about what it is and that's a lesson again teacher here i'm learning the divine i'm learning my divine lesson and will soon be by your side so they have to realize that they're wrong and that they want to be by your side and get rid of the toxicity they're overthinking and realizing that you're incomparable no matter how many people they have you're the incomparable one and they miss you it says it's, I'm driving myself crazy thoughts of you keep consuming me and incomparable it says no one has ever made me feel the way you do you're irreplaceable that's the lesson that they had to learn when you decided to move your remove your energy so not right now means that they need to heal and stop self self sabotaging themselves and understand that what goes around comes around that's not what you're putting in the energy but you understood the assignment that opposites attract this is what you saw potential in again dreams things like that uh, but you have to understand that based upon potential is not going to be a reliable solution until you have a major life change um, in order for them to be the change that they need to be. Now, if this is something that you don't want to be a part of, then you don't have to. But this is something that they had to learn as well as you do. So no matter what situation you go into moving forward, you know, you're going to understand that all these red flags that have came up in the past, the opposites attract type energy. If they're not ready, you're going to know what it looks like. And even if they come back around, you're going to know that what it looks like. But if they're working on things, they're going to realize that you're incomparable and they'll never be able to get that out of their head when it comes to you. So, again, you're going to keep a watchful eye on anything moving forward. But your empathetic nature is going to always cause you to love over love. But the guidance that you need to receive is how to um, be able to see and spot the red flags and also realize that. Sometimes opposites do attract, but don't self-sabotage yourself in regards to needing to heal and understand that that ebb and, that, uh, ebb and flow, which is the will of fortune, that coming and going with not even having a foundation is not something that you want to be a part of. So that's how I see that. So at the end of the day, they're missing you and you empowered them and the universe is saying not right now. They're not ready. So keep going, keep going, keep moving forward and don't allow anybody to steal your joy so i'm just gonna take out and pull from the four agreements and also the crystal deck you want to know what those um, energies are to me um my perspective of them i'll put the links up above and then also um yeah remember to like share subscribe and hit the bell notification to be notified when i post a new video red hearts you made it through purple hearts that resonates green hearts you're making uh excuse me green hearts um you working on it sorry and yellow hearts you rock with me got my six me to have my back the rota rota is the heart chakra again 
forgiveness, comfort, and then um, love, which is who you are as the Queen of Cups energy. But it says my spirit grows as I treat myself and others with love and compassion. And that's what you do. But again, you have to understand the difference between somebody who is who wants something, you know, who is using your energy for good for their own good or their own benefit or just because they can and also you giving your energy to somebody who doesn't appreciate it so don't make assumptions be aware of unconscious assumptions assumptions are made so fast and unconsciously most of the time because we have agreements to communicate this way we have agreed that it is that it is not safe it is not safe to ask questions we have agreed that if people love us they should know what we want or how we feel. And that is the agreement that you had, you made with yourself when you saw potential in something that you thought was reliable. So don't make assumptions that somebody understands what you want, how you feel. And even though you be like, oh, we're, we're totally opposite, but we still get along. Emotions are not facts. You have to be able to make the facts and say what it is that you want and go from there. All that dark behavior and things like that. So again, no man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. Um, I got that from Florence Goble Shin, The Game of Life and How to Play It. This is the four agreements, and this is the crystal deck focusing on the chakras. If you want to know a little bit more, to, again, I put the link up above, but you have to understand that emotions are not facts. You have to be able to, one, to make the agreements, to be able to say what it is that you want, be impeccable with your words. That's why I love the four agreements, because you cannot make assumptions. You have to say what it is that you want with any situation, any, uh, and, you know, and set the boundaries. So there you have it. Let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or situation. I love you guys.